you left Price, you went to Harrington, you had a very successful time with Harrington, and it almost ended a wee bit in tears, didn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, I well, after Price, I, I came back home and I got married, and, and um, I didn't carry for seven years, and that's whenever I kind of like filled in and worked for John Daly, and then my wife realised that I missed it, so I put the word out and I wanted to come back out again, I worked for Mark Mayne. Or did you just realise you had to pay the bills? I well, was it <laughs> for seven years, you know. So um, and then uh, I worked for Mark McNulty for a year. Now at the end of that year, Podrick asked me to um, to work for him, and that was started up in 1999. And away we went. And of course, it was a uh, you know I mean, it was good. Podrick was a hard worker. I was a hard worker, and you know it was a good combination, you know. So uh, but the w but anyway, I got to the stage where um, yeah, you know he he just he felt as though. He wanted somebody else, somebody, just he wanted somebody else. It was just time for that change, you know. I mean, everybody has a reason, you know. Firing is, a, is, a, is, is not a pleasant thing for a caddy, but it's, um, it's, it's territory now, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, in those days, there wasn't an awful lot of firing going on, you know, because um, it, I think that the, the nature of the game now is just so, so competitive. And the guys are all looking for the edge, so the thing's a lot more volatile. Back then, it was a bit more of a mates thing, you know. You have great respect for him, uh, but you you didn't like the way he handled you being fired. But then, who does? But tell us that story. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a delicate issue now. You know, I've been asked this question a lot by the press, and I mean, you know, in those days, I would sort of say, like, no, you know, no comment, mm. you know. But. Um, no, it was a it was a time whenever Podig was, he was uh, I mean I can recall he was number eight in the world and and sort of thinking well you know it's only going to keep on getting better you know but um, you know I mean looking back on it I mean for the reasons that he said that uh, he was going to try somebody else I was very in, I was actually you know quite intense very very intense on the golf course you know and looking back on it I mean I, I think he might have had a point then you know in, in, on reflection so at the time I thought this is totally not just. What he's doing here. But he just walked in and said, basically, I said you're going in three weeks, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. that must have been hard to swallow. Well, I was. I mean, honestly, well, Adrian, it was. It's probably it's the worst thing that's ever happened to me in caddying. I mean, to the extent that it was not only like an emotional trauma, it actually affected me physically. I was. I lost a lot of weight, and you know, I mean, I really and I was extremely angry and bitter at the fact that I'd worked in this for this guy for six years. So I mean, it was. It was very, very unpleasant. But you know, I mean, a lot of people sort of think, oh, you know, they've sort of said to me horrible, horrible thing that was happened to you and all that there. But you know, a guy know Podig well, and I know he's a re he's a good guy. Now, what he did to me, you know, personally, maybe I don't have an awful lot of respect for, but I have a lot of respect for him. He's a great guy. He is, you know, and uh, and uh, there's everybody knows it. You know, he is he's good fun. But I tell you what, that's very nice of you to say that to you. Know, well, because, no, no, uh, no, because I, I do. I know Podrick well, and um, we've had some great times in the golf course. Good fun, and we're good friends again. You know, I mean, it's it was unfortunate how it all went, but you know, everybody's got a reason for doing something, and people sort of thought that was unjustified at the time. I thought it was unjustified. In reflection, you know, he had a reason for doing it, and that's fair enough.